Well, I had a couple change of plans this week and uh, scheduling didn't work out right. So I got two free days to work on the farm midweek, which is kind of weird. I don't know what to do with myself, but there's work to do, so might as well do it, right? So, uh, yeah, I didn't move all the equipment because I was planning on uh, starting on that big project, but it got delayed till Friday now, so uh, got a little bit of free time. So I'm going to work on the uh, other half of the clearing for the pond site here at the farm. This was the uh, first half right here that I cleared and burnt and got all that pushed into a pile. Uh, just brought the chainsaw over there. Got the machine on the other side of the fence. So I'm going to go up here and see if I can't hop over the fence and get started. What I'm going to do is go in there and clear out all the small stuff today and uh, get that piled up. Um, the, let's see, Sunday over the weekend when I was doing everything else, there was a pile of dirt up here in the woods and I kind of raked through it. So there's a big quartz vein that runs somewhere through here which I still haven't found on the other side of the fence. Uh, right here, there's a lot of um, a lot of gravelly. You can kind of see all the gravel in the creek right there. But up here, a couple years ago, I dug a hole with the mini excavator. I actually needed some dirt to fill in that, to build the, when they did the fence to cover up that pipe. So I just came over here into the edge of the woods with a mini and dug a hole about eight feet by eight feet. And those are about half the rocks that I dug up right in here. So somewhere in this ridge is a quartz vein. And I tried digging a hole right up there on top of the hill. Cause so what I wanna do, I wanna dig up a bunch of these and use them around the pond. Cause I think they're very nice rocks. But um, I didn't hit the first thing, which is weird. I dug down about four or five feet, so maybe I need to come down the hill a little bit farther. I don't know, I just don't want to start randomly digging holes everywhere, but I would like to find some more of them. They're kind of, they're kind of cool. I don't remember if these, if these came from right here or what, but somewhere in this whole ridge is nothing but a lot of quartz boulders, and uh, I really would like to dig up some more of them. I think they're, wait a minute, I might be on a treasure hunt here. Hold on, gotta put the drink down and focus. Stay, stay, there we go. What's peeking through the leaves over here? I haven't been in here since. That's one. Here's a, this might be it right here. I might have missed it. Oh yeah. I might have to come over here and clear a little bit and dig these up. There's a random one. I remember when I first bought the farm coming over here and digging up a couple and I remember I hit one so big that the mini excavator would not budge. And I want to say it's that one. Hmm. I can't get the 220 over here. It's too big. But I got a pile of dirt right there I can fill the hole back in with. I was really hoping I'd hit it over here. And then I could just, you know, dig a hole and dig a bunch of rocks up and then just put that dirt back in the hole. We'll see. Might have to uh, lay the dirt over the fence. Huh. Always something. Let's get to clearing. All right, I've made it in here to the pond site. Where's my flag? There's my flag. This is water, the edge of the pond right here. So all these poplar trees have got to come down. I'm gonna get started in here. I don't want to take them down, but they're, they've seen better days. They're kind of rotten right there. I'm hoping that the rot goes out of them and I can get some wood out of them because the cabin's gonna sit right up there under that great big white oak. But I'm going to get in here and get started, start laying some of this stuff down and uh, getting some logs cut out of it. See what, uh, see what we get into. All right, I made a phone call to my logger. He said he could probably move some of the wood. So I'm going to take advantage of 
the off-road truck still being here and for another day or two cut these logs I think I can back it down I can't drive it down the field it's too wet well I ain't saying I can't uh, I just rolled out fabric for my road so I hate to drive back through there I have options I can load out over there if I need to but I think I can back the truck down there and uh, load it out right through there and then just dump it up there in the field load it out with the other excavator or the mini no I'd probably bring the other excavator over because trying to put that into the off-road truck with the mini would be kind of kind of silly looking <laughs> wouldn't be very practical either I wouldn't think see how wet this is going to get I'd like to uh, get this cleared and get a ditch dug through here to keep this dried out some. But I'm currently going to be clearing erratically to get as much as this can. I can cut down the next day. I got stuff to do tomorrow too. But it's really going to start opening up now. like everybody else is so I, I know the feeling da, 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 da. all right let's see if this little white oak will come down Other trees I'm trying to save. Easy there. Not destroy everything. Because I'm trying to make it look that, you know, that picturesque look when you uh, look at something. I don't want a bunch of the trees surrounding it, all the branches dangling and broke off and everything. Take my time to make sure I don't hit any of the trees around it that I'm trying to save.
right now. There's not a huge market for maple around here, so even though this is a maple tree, I'm going to go ahead first. That won't hit the fence. There's a dead tree right there. I didn't want to push this one over and then that one hit it. Knock it over there and smash my fence. But I think we can reuse that fence since it's only like two years old. I got my tape measure. Oof. That was a little violent. I think we can uh, pull the staples out and reuse the uh, fence and the, obviously reuse the post. So I'm trying not to uh, smash the wire all up by dropping trees on it because stuff's expensive. If I can reuse 300 feet of it, that'll probably save me a fair amount of money. find a tape measure and go ahead and cut these two up and then uh, I'm gonna drop that stuff right there and get some room opened up so I can take these big ones down and send them well I think you can see why I want to do a pond here look at the water just oozing up out the ground perfect spot getting a little wet in here though so I'm trying to clear this lower area out so that I have room to drop these bigger trees and I got to cut these up here real quick to make room We'll come in here and rip this smaller stuff out next. Not worried about that maple. I'll pile everything up over there for now and then go ahead and start dropping all those right through here. All right, we've got enough small trees down now. We're going to go ahead and drop a couple of the bigger ones, get those cut up, and then start working my way back to uh, those bigger poplars where I first came in at. Now that uh, I have room to drop them right here and they'll not be all tangled up in other trees but that's not fun chainsawing trees up when uh, everything's all tangled together that'll probably fall down there's not a whole lot of roots on these trees anything this tall farther than that or any closer that way because it'll hit it and tear it up because so everything else from there back needs to be dropped back this way Clay, I'm seeing up here though. That's 
good material for a pot panel.
I drove Barney down here. I'm gonna back it over here and go ahead and load out a load of poplar logs, kind of get some of this stuff out of the way. I got, oh, two more down there to take down and that should finish off that load. Then I'll finish taking these white oaks down. I'm on the fence of this one. The water's gonna be right there and I'm just afraid it's only like two feet. It is just gonna saturate the roots on that one and kill it. And then it's gonna be an absolute nightmare to try to clean up. I think I'm gonna take it down and be done with it. Not have to deal with a tree dying. And then everything else from right here, all that's coming down. That's a load of logs. I could put some more in there, but my darn chainsaw uh, needs a new chain. So I'm going to go dump that and grab a new chain and go ahead and take some more trees down over there and finish off another load. Let's go dump it. I 
progress back here. I've gotten a lot done for uh, only three hours, I think, I've been working on this. And uh, I'm all the way down here to kind of where the dam is going to go. And this is where most of the brush is going to get piled up and burnt. So I'm trying to open up this area and uh, get it where I pile all, all that over there is just crap trees that don't have any value to them. So I'm going to, uh, there's one in there I got to get out. Uh, then I'm going to pile all the brush right there to get it out of my way and to drop these other trees, if that makes sense. There's a process to it.
beautiful red clay. That is on damn material there ever was any. Good stuff. Very good stuff. Last tree for today. I'm gonna get this cut up here real quick and uh, load it into the truck. Hopefully it should all fit. I think it will. And uh, go dump that out and come back down here and work a little bit more tomorrow. Let's see if we can get all this wood in the truck. Finish out today.
call it a day. That's a right nice load of logs. Old logger Wade would be proud on that one. Tiny too. Getting loaded. <laughs> I'm gonna say there's a lot of weight on that back axle. All right, let's go dump that out and go find something to eat for dinner. <laughs>